welcome back to my garden. My, hasn't the year flown by? We're in the middle of September already. Uh, where did it all go? Um, now, I say the year's flown by, but there's still plenty of time ahead um, to get a lot done. Um, and in fact, this time next week, I will be in the midst, well, not the midst, but I will have started a new 100-day plan. Yes, we're coming up to that date, that time of the year, 23rd of September, uh, which, for those who are of, of long and uh, efficient memory, you will no doubt recall that the 23rd of September, uh, as I mentioned last year, marks the start of the final 100 days of the year. Um, so for us YouTube content creators, the perfect time to embark on some sort of absurd plan. Um, YouTube is full of them. Month-long challenges, one-week challenges, 24-hour challenges, annual challenges, you name it. The idea is, is simple. You fix some sort of time frame and you commit for that period, if not beyond, to doing a course of action every day or all the time, or whatever it might be. Um, and they work out just fine on the videos, certainly the ones that I've watched. Of course, they would, wouldn't they? They're carefully curated. Um, if you know me at all well, you will know that these things rarely end well on my part. Um, that's sort of like a 100-day challenge becomes a 100-day to-do list. And I, and I can't manage a to-do list for 24 hours. So how am I going to manage it for such an extended period of time? Why bother? Um, and that's quite a negative way of looking at it, uh, albeit one that I can't really argue with. Uh, my success with to-do lists is uh, pretty hopeless, to be frank. And recently I made a video where I was speaking about how perhaps the problem is in the sort of uh, compulsion of the to-do to list. You must do this thing, these things today. And perhaps rebranding it would help. Um, so I came up with quite a nice idea, uh, I think, uh, and, and it worked for a month or so. Well, certainly I did it for a, a couple of months. A could-do list. A list of things that, if it took my fancy, I would do on, an, on that given day. But come the end of the day, and you look, and you tally up, and you notice that you've um, done nine out of the twenty possible things that you might have done that day, well, you still haven't hit 50%. So, in a sense, uh, certainly in the world where I grew up, scholastically, it's a bit of a failure, really. Um, and I think that's a problem, in general, with a lot of these plans. They, they are ultimately going to fail, and then you don't feel very good about yourself. And that's a mistake. Uh, for example, in my case, I, I, I've made so many of these videos talking about systems that I'm going to in, implement, clever rules and, and ways of gamifying uh, your efficiency or productivity or joy in your life, whatever it might be. Um, the truth is, I say they failed, but my life is moving forward rather nicely, actually. Um, in pretty much every area over the last 10 years since I moved to northeast of Brazil, since leaving the teaching profession and becoming a full-time artist, things certainly have moved forward. And um, that was a fantastic thing about opening the, the gallery officially um, last month. Um, it was a sort of marker of the progress that has been made, of, of, 
what has been accomplished. Um, and I'm quite proud, I have to say, of, of the efforts that Rita and I have um, put in and where it's led us. Um, so why um, embark on these sort of uh, futile hundred day plans? Well, if for no other reason, I like them. I think that's sort of amusing. But I've decided this year that, that I can and will do better. Not in the sense that I will set some kind of uh, onerous task, uh, but rather I will use it as a device for feeling the pulse of that forward movement of my life. What does all that mean? Well, if I look at what I'm trying to do, and I think this is an interesting exercise that, that we all need to do from time to time, you probably can comp compartmentalise it, sort of five areas of, of where I would like my life to move forward, whatever that might mean, and, and, and it obviously is massively open to interpretation. Uh, moving forward as an artist might mean selling more art or making better art or making art more consistently or uh, enjoying the making of art uh, more, of, of feeling a, a sense of flow while you're working more regularly. I mean, it could mean literally anything. Uh, you know, that's up to the individual. Uh, we have the right to choose in that regard. If I look at my life, um, putting aside what I mean by move forward, there are sort of five clear areas. There's my art, there is my chess, um, there is my content creation, and excuse me while I look over uh, to my left, there's a little monkey who's very curiously watching us. I'm going to just, let's see. See if you can make him out. There he is, on top of, on top of the coconut palm. Hello, little monkey. You want to be in the film? Right, I can't actually tell if I caught him. If I didn't, you'll just have to take my word for it. Anyway, back to the point. There are these five areas. My art, my chess, uh, content creation, whether it's writing or, or making films like, like this one. Um, and then, of course, there's the house and grounds. Um, for example, opening the gallery wasn't necessarily every element of it moving my art forward, but installing a door that, that provides wheelchair access to the bathroom certainly moved our, the space forward. Um, and then, of course, there's my general well-being, health and happiness. Now, if you're paying attention, you, you might be wondering, but what about relationships? Your wife, for example, surely she should f feature in this. But if I look at it from my own individual standpoint, uh, allow, allowing in some way, aiding, helping, uh, supporting my wife does make me feel better and consequently it is good for my general mental well-being. I, uh, that may sound terribly selfish, but uh, I'm not saying that's why one should do things that help other people, you know, your, your loved ones and the community around you. But... There's no doubt that your life is moving forward, in my mind, when, when you are helping and supporting other people. Um, and I think, in general, you are happier and healthier if uh, you do that. So that bucket, if I think of these as five buckets, the health and happiness bucket covers all those sort of physical and psychological elements that make up a good, uh, well-spent life. So, my 100-day challenge is, is, in essence, to mark 
the moments when I moved one of those elements forward. So, for example, if in the morning I do a session of sculpture, I'll give my little, myself a little gold star. Um, I moved my art forward. And in fact, uh, I'm happy to do that viewing the day in terms of three sessions. So, you know, morning, afternoon and evening. So, potentially I could get three gold stars, um, ticks, whatever, thumbs up, for my art or anything else during the day, um, which is sort of activities that I start and pause and restart. Same would go for my chess. Uh, the same would go for content creation, making this video. Um, yes, that has moved my content creation forward, um, however small that, that advance might be. Um, not every activity will count. So if I play chess online uh, blitz games without going over them, no, that isn't really moving my chess forward, and I know that. Uh, which doesn't mean I shouldn't do it, ever, but I'm certainly not going to give myself a pat on the back. If, on the other hand, I look at a position, sit down for 15 minutes and really dive into it, well, thumbs up. Um, my idea will be to try and have five-star days. Um, I'm going to exclude activities that are really maintenance activities, making lunch, for example. I'm not going to exclude activities that, that perhaps are, are rarer. Um, so putting stuff away after sculpture is not tidying the house, but um, sorting through all the paper on one of the tables, a job that's been waiting for me for some months, well, that definitely will count. Um, as I say, making dinner, no, um, making a batch of chutney or jam, a definite yes. Uh, and the idea behind this is, I guess, to try and trick myself. Um, because I'm not demanding that I do an hour's chest I know that if the day has not been going well, it's eight o'clock and I've really been mired in a sort of Slothful indolence, uh, tautology, never mind, but you know what I mean. Just a day which has not really been going anywhere, and I found a million and one reasons not to do anything constructive. Uh, maybe I've done a session of sculpture, and that's it. Well, if I sit down in the evening and do 15 minutes of chess study, and then do a drawing, bang, I've got a three-star day. One session of sculpture, uh, another session of art in the evening, and a session of chess study. And, and that, frankly, is good enough. If I fill a page in my journal, four stars. Now, you might say, but who are you really fooling? Um, and obviously the answer is me. I'm fooling myself. But as uh, he may or may not have said, um, uh, Richard Feynman, that great quote, uh, be careful about fooling yourself, because the easiest person to fool is yourself. Well, if that's true, let's turn that from a weakness to a strength. Let's fool ourselves into every day just committing to a particular uh, course of action, which is not difficult to fulfill. It's a sort of tiny habit principle. You know, flossing one tooth, not, you know, diligently all 30 of them, or in my case, less than 30. But uh, that's a sad truth that I really don't want to face up to. Never mind. Um, I've lost a couple along the way. And did we have 30 teeth? I can't remember. 32, 28? Honestly, I have no idea. It's, it's a fact from... from the school days, primary school, in fact. Um, anyway, I digress. That's the plan starting next Monday, because very conveniently, uh, Monday is the 23rd of September, and that is the start of the final 100 days. 
Um, and I think it'll be a challenge uh, that I will very easily be able to rise to. A three-star day is a good day. A one- or two-star day is a bit like those hotels. Um, you know, you got your night's sleep, but there was nothing memorable, even comfortable, uh, about it. And no stars, well, that really is a commitment to self-destruction that I'm not willing to take, and, and I think I can be easily avoided. So that's it for this week. Uh, let me know about yet another ludicrous plan that I'm about to embark upon. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Or perhaps join me in a 100-day challenge. You never know. It might change your life. So there we are. That's it for this week. I trust your lives are filled with joy. And from sunny Brazil, ciao.